Vainglory is a video game developed and published by Super Evil Megacorp for iOS and Android devices. The game is a version of the MOBA genre wherein two opposing teams of three or five players fight to destroy the enemy by controlling the path between the bases, which is lined by turrets and guarded by AI-controlled enemy creatures. Off the path, players battle for control points that provide resources. The game was released for iOS in November 2014, after being soft-launched for over half a year, with the Android version being released in July 2015. A Mac and Microsoft Windows version of the game was released in July 2018. Through cross-platform play, players on all four platforms can play together simultaneously. The game's development started in 2012 upon the forming of Super Evil Megacorp. The game was unveiled at Apple's September 2014 iPhone 6 announcement event to demonstrate the platform's Metal Graphics API. Super Evil Megacorp attempted to make a game that would entertain players for hours and encourage in person multiplayer experiences similar to that of a LAN party. Vainglory received generally favorable reviews. Critics praised the game's graphics, characters, and level design, but criticized its lack of team communication features. Reviewers disagreed on the game's degree of accessibility to newcomers, which was part of the reason why it received mixed reviews. Gameplay Vainglory is a multiplayer online battle arena MOBA game similar to popular MOBAs like League of Legends and Dota 2 but designed for smartphones and tablets. A standard for the genre, two opposing teams fight to reach and destroy the enemy's base while defending their own in a tug of war for control over three paths, the lanes, which connect the bases. In addition, there are jungles between the lanes, which contain creatures and objectives that can be killed or captured. In Vainglory, teams have five players who each control an avatar, known as a hero, from their own device. Weaker computer-controlled characters, called minions. Spawn at team bases and follow the lanes to the opposite team's base, fighting enemies and turrets en route. Lining the lanes are turret towers that repel the flow of minions and enemy heroes. The player's objective is to destroy the enemy turrets and ultimately the vein crystal in the enemy team's base. As of update 3.9, heroes can be evolved to 5 stars, stats increased. By playing any match, you can win hero mastery points. First star is unlocked at 1100 hero mastery points. For more details, check the photo. When a match start, in loading screen players can see your mastery level, and they will know if you are a pro with a heroes or no. All matches give you points as rewards, but standard 3v3 and 5v5 give you bonus points. Note, you will receive same points as reward even if you lose or win. In ranked mode, players are matched by a ranking system. Commonly referred to as ELO, ELO in game chat, the rank points you earn from match wins will go up, and so as you improve, so will the skill of your opponents. ELO is named after Arpad ELO, the mathematician and chess grandmaster who invented the rank score system that may be at the heart of rank scores in Vainglory. As of 12 December 2018, update 3.9, there are 46 hero options. The developers of the game continually add new heroes, each with different skills but balanced for fair play. For example, a hero may have high damage but poor mobility, or strong melee abilities but no ranged option. Players choose between three abilities that upgrade via a common technology tree. There is a set number of heroes that are free to play, with the free to play roster being renewed every week. The game uses two main in-game currencies for in-app purchases. Glory can be earned through normal play and completing missions, and ice immensely concentrated evil can be purchased with real-world money. Ice can also sometimes be earned through game interactions, but it is a much less common reward. Players can unlock additional heroes for a certain amount of glory. Skins, which change the appearance of heroes, can be unlocked with ice or by collecting blueprints from the market or in-game quests. Crafting a skin via a blueprint also requires essence, obtainable through reward chests or acquiring a blueprint for a skin that a player already owns. Special edition skins may only be unlocked through opals, obtainable through reward chests or frequent in-app purchase bundle packs. Update 1.18.0 introduced. Chests. 
which provide another way of obtaining any of these currencies. Chests become available after completing a certain action, e.g., win five games. Vainglory offers three main modes of in game communication team emoticons, strategic pings, and static chat lines, introduced on Update 2.6. Update 2.5 introduced talents, collectible hero upgrades exclusively for Brawl game modes, Blitz and Battle Royale. Update 3.4 introduced joystick control. Topic. Game modes As of December 12, 2018 update 3 .9, there are four game modes. 1 3 v 3 casual, ranked or solo with bots. Here teams of three heroes battle on Halcyon Fold, the map with one lane and one jungle. Matches usually take 20 minutes to complete. 2 5 v 5 casual, ranked or solo with bots. Here teams of five heroes battle on Sovereign's Rise, the map that was added in Update 3.0, with three lanes and two jungles. Matches usually take 25 minutes to complete. 3 Battle Royale version 1.0 to 3.8, Aural version 3.9 Here teams of three randomly chosen heroes battle on the lane of Halcyon Fold. This is a brawl mode, so talents are available. Matches usually take 15 minutes to complete. 4. Blitz Here teams of three heroes battle on Halcyon Fold. Matches usually take 5 minutes to complete. Teams need to get 15 points, by killing enemies 1 PT, crystal sentries 3 PT, or destroying turrets 3 PT. After 5 minutes, best score wins, or the first team with more than 15 points. If there is a tie, the team with the next point scored wins. This is a brawl mode, so talents can be used. Here we include tutorial, there are also few game modes that was including in few versions only like events. 1. Onslaught as update 2.11 to 3v3 map, 5 rounds with talents each rounds, buy items and then click ready. The map is getting smaller and smaller, until one team win. 2. One for all as update 3.9 to 5v5 map, all team members have same heroes, e.g. 5 Celeste vs 5 Saw, in winter season, Halcyon Fold will have a wintry look. Topic. Heroes Vainglory started with 7 heroes, Catherine, Glaive, Petal, Kashka, Ringo, Saw, and Adagio. As of December 2018 update 3 .9, there are 46 hero options. Topic. Release order Topic. Skins Coming soon Topic. Talents Coming soon Topic. Development In February 2012, game developer veterans from Rockstar, Riot, Blizzard, and Insomniac founded Super Evil Megacorp in San Mateo, California to make a multiplayer online battle arena MOBA game for tablet devices, and thus began development on their first game, Vainglory. Apple chose the game to demonstrate the graphics capabilities of their iPhone 6 and Metal Graphics API at the iPhone 6 announcement event. The game was soft launched for six months prior to this September 2014 event, and was released on November 16, 2014. Christian Segerstrail, the founder of Playfish and former head of EA Digital, joined Super Evil Megacorp as its COO. Segerstrail expected Vainglory to popularize the MOBA genre like Halo did for first person shooters. Segerstrail stated that he hoped Vainglory would become something players will organize their lives around rather than something to pass spare time. The game is designed for tablets, which the company felt was the most fitting platform despite its lack of core games. Games that rewarded teamwork and strategy over thousands of hours of play. They told Polygon that tablets were inherently social, less alienating to new players, and possibly the best space for multiplayer play. 
Super Evil Megacorp CBO Bo Daly said he saw PC MOBA games as solitary experiences and thought tablets could make the experience better for groups as a reinvention of the LAN party, where players share a common gaming experience in the same shared physical space on separate devices. The company also intended for the game to become an eSport. European esports tournament organizer Electronic Sports League announced the Vainglory Cup, a set of Vainglory competitions, to take place in June 2015 and elevated their partnership with ESL in summer 2017 for organizing Vainglory 8 NA and EU. On March 5, 2015, at the Game Developers Conference 2015, it was announced by Super Evil Megacorp that Vainglory would be getting an Android version. After undergoing a closed beta, the game was fully released on July 2, 2015 on the Google Play Store. One of the most impressive features of Vainglory is its artwork, which is produced by a team directed by Carlo Chainsaw Arellano. Players are also invited to guide the development of Vainglory by interacting with the developers through live streams on Twitch. Update 2.8 September 2017 added keyboard and mouse support in addition to Samsung's partnership with SEMC for Samsung DeX, a docking station for Samsung S8, S8 Plus, Note 8 to connect listed device to a PC. Super Evil Megacorp announced in early 2017 that a 5v5 mode was under development. The mode was released on February 13, 2018. A desktop version of the game is under development. The desktop version is currently in its alpha stage. Topic: Reception. The game received generally favorable reviews, according to video game review score aggregator Metacritic. Reviewers praised the game's graphics, characters, and level design, but criticized its lack of team communication features. While IGN's Mitch Dyer wrote the game was accessible to newcomers, Matt Thrower of Pocket Gamer felt otherwise. The Guardian named Vainglory the best iOS game of 2014. The game was one of 10 Apple Design Award recipients in 2015. Matt Thrower of Pocket Gamer noted how the PC based MOBA genre has had issues adapting its precise controls to the mobile platform, but that Vainglory trimmed features in the right areas. IGN's Mitch Dyer wrote that the game was its own, scaled down, rather than scaled back, version of the MOBA genre, and not an attempt to approximate League of Legends and Dota 2 experiences for mobile devices. Dyer praised the game's character and map detail, and wrote that all ten of the heroes had fun designs and were enjoyable to play. Thrower felt similarly about its graphics as most reviewers did. Dyer praised the iPad controls, but felt cramped on the iPhone 6 Plus. Touch Arcade's Ford described the controls as flawless, and felt that the game's tutorial was among the best he had seen in iOS MOBAs. He added that he considered the game's in-app purchases very fair, and not pay to win. IGN's Dyer reported his games to be about 21 minutes in length and noticed that they tended to snowball out of balance by the time the Kraken creature appears at the 15-minute mark. Dyer added that the advantages of in-person team communication made games feel lopsided. Pocket Gamer's Thrower wrote that the game's depth was in learning how to use the individual characters, and that beginners were subject to an impenetrable learning curve especially without organized teams. Ford of Touch Arcade said his only issue was with players leaving their play session while the game was still in action, but felt this was mitigated by the game's karma matchmaking system. Ford otherwise reported that Vainglory played well as a whole as probably the best MOBA on iOS. <laughs>